hello friends welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines so in this video lecture we shall see the number of instantaneous centers in a mechanism and their types that is we shall see how to determine the number of instantaneous centers in any given mechanisms and based on their positions and function we shall see what are the different types of instantaneous centers so please stay tuned with this video lecture before we begin with this lecture i request you to please subscribe to this youtube channel also press the bell icon for the latest notification of the videos on this youtube channel follow us on twitter instagram and facebook the links are in the description below so friends let's begin with the video lecture so in the previous lecture we have seen the definition of instantaneous center that is it is the center which goes on changing from one instant to another so you can refer to the video which will appear on the top right corner as the youtube i card for the video on instantaneous center so now let us see what are the instantaneous centers or how to determine the instantaneous centers for the basic two mechanisms that is four bar mechanism and slider crank mechanism so first let us see the four bar mechanism so here we construct this mechanism so we take the fixed link the second link is constructed then the third link and the fourth link so these four links together they constitute a four bar mechanism because one of the link remains fixed now we shall draw the extension lines from link number 2 and link number 4 similarly two extension lines are drawn from link number 3 and link number 1 so the intersection of these four lines over here at these points will give the instantaneous centers now for a four bar mechanism the total number of instantaneous centers are calculated using the equation capital n is equal to small n into n minus 1 divided by 2 where small n is the number of links in a mechanism now for four bar mechanism we have number of links as 4 so when we substitute this value 4 in this equation we get total number of that is capital n as 6 this means that a four bar mechanism has six number of instantaneous centers now let us see what are those six instantaneous centers so here first we have is the i12 so this instantaneous center is obtained by link number 1 and link number 2 similarly we have i13 that is this instantaneous center is obtained between link number 1 and link number 3 that is it is the extension from link number 2 and link number 4 joins at this point and this will give the instantaneous center between link number 1 and link number 4 the next one is the i14 that is the instantaneous center between link number 1 and link number 4 then we have i23 that is instantaneous center between link 2 and link 3 then we have i24 that is the instantaneous center for link 2 and link 4 but it is obtained by joining or extending this link 2 and the link 1 at this point so we get i24 and the last one we have is the i34 that is the instantaneous center for link 3 and link 4 which is at this point so this is the number of instantaneous centers in the four bar mechanism similarly we have the number of instantaneous centers for a slider crank mechanism so here in the slider crank mechanism again we construct the slider crank so we take the horizontal line first we locate the fixed link so here we have the pivot and this is the cylinder in which the piston will slide then we have the crank the connecting rod and ultimately the piston so together this comprises of a slider crank mechanism so to obtain the instantaneous centers we have to draw some construction lines that is first line is drawn vertically upwards from this pivot point the second line is drawn vertically upwards from the center of this slider next we extend this crank till it joins this construction line of the slider then we extend the connecting rod till it joins this construction line from the pivot so these are the different construction lines next to locate the instantaneous centers again we have the equation n is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so for slider crank mechanism the number of links again here are four that is number 1 is the fixed link number 2 is the crank 3 is the connecting rod and ultimately 4 is the piston so substituting n as 4 we get capital n again here as 
6. So slider crank mechanism will also have 6 instantaneous centers. Now let us see their locations. So the first instantaneous center that is I12 will be at infinity. That is because here we have only one compare over here between link number 1 and link number 2 and the angle will keep on changing from 0 degrees to an acute angle to an obtuse angle. So this crank will rotate about this point on the fixed link. Hence we can say the instantaneous center of this fixed link will be at infinity with respect to link number 2. Next we have is the I13 which is located at this point. So it is between the fixed link and the link number Number three that is extension of link number four and link number two like the same analogy as we had in the four bar mechanism the same logic or the analogy we apply here that is extension of link three uh, link four and link two will give the i13 that is between one and between three similarly i14 is the extension of this link four that is from piston and the fixed link one so it is i14 Next we have is I23 that is between 2 and 3 it will be technically extension or between link number 1 and link number uh, 4 so we get this I23. Next we have I24 that is when the link number 4 and uh, that is link number 3 and link number 1 is extended so we get this I24 at this point then these are the total we have seen are the 5 and the last one will be I32 which will be at this location between link number 3 and link number 2. So for the slider crank mechanism these are the 6 instantaneous centers and this is the procedure to determine the instantaneous centers of the slider crank mechanism. So you have to remember where these instantaneous center for any slider crank mechanism lies. So the equation is n into n minus 1 divided by 2. Now we know the positions of the uh, instantaneous centers. Now we shall see what are the different types of instantaneous centers with respect to the four bar mechanism as that is easy to understand compared to the slider crank mechanism. So here now we shall see the types of instantaneous center. So the first type of instantaneous center for this four bar mechanism we have is the fixed instantaneous center. So here the instantaneous centers that remain in the same place for the configuration of the mechanism are known as fixed instantaneous centers. Now if you see for this 4 bar mechanism I12 and I14 will not change irrespective of whatever the configuration of the other three links are. Okay, So this will be the fixed instantaneous centers. The next type of instantaneous center we have is the permanent instantaneous centers. So the instantaneous centers that move when the mechanism moves but the joints remain permanent are known as permanent instantaneous centers. That is here for 4 bar mechanism we have I23 and I34. So here they move when the mechanism moves but the joint remains fixed. That is I23 will have the joint of link 2 and link 3 and I34 will have the joint of link 3 and link 4. So joints will not change and they remain fixed. And the last type we have is neither fixed nor permanent type of instantaneous center. So here these centers that vary with the configuration of the mechanism are known as neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous centers. Now here I13 and I24 are those that is neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous centers. That is for this particular configuration of the mechanism we have I23 here and I24 here. But as the position changes or as this link comes down or this link rotates or the position of this three links change, the positions of I13 and I24 will also change. Hence we can say they are neither fixed nor permanent instantaneous centers. So friends, that's all for today in this video lecture about the number of instantaneous centers in any mechanism and the different types of instantaneous centers. So if you have understood the explanation, please like and share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, press the bell icon for the latest notifications. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Thank you very much friends.